Hey guys, what's up? My name is Erica Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today, I'm going to be doing my 2021 luxury haul. I'm going to be showing you guys all of the bags I purchased this year and the one accessory that I did purchase that totals to about $5,000 when you do all the math and that's kind of a lot. How much does the earth cost? I'm gonna buy the entire earth and be king. I feel like I needed all these things. Well, need is not the right word to use. I feel like I wanted all these things and I feel like now I have a nice little basic collection to where I'm not gonna be buying every bag I see because I kind of have a little bit of everything. So let's just get right on into it. So the very first thing I picked up very early on this year, I feel like I got this bag in February or March and it is a Prada bag. This is the dust bag. Now, I got this bag, I was in macy's backstage and i don't know if you guys are familiar with like tj maxx and marshall's and those stores that have designer stuff like in a glass that's locked up and i really never paid too much attention to it but they had this bag in there and i was like prada wait a minute so let me just show y'all it is one of the prada nylon bags i absolutely love this one it has the silver hardware it's black has like the little coin purse has the top handle it does have some structure to it and some feet at the bottom even though it is nylon and i know um right now like in stores prada is selling the nylon re-edition bags but this is not a re-edition this bag is one of the older ones i guess when they originally released it i got this bag i think for 1300 i can't remember authenticity card and all the stuff that came inside just so you guys can see with the little card and the card from prada that just says like the bag and the serial number and then this card with the barcode and everything as well yeah, the price is not on here. So I have no idea what the original price of this bag was, but I do know I got it for like $400 or $500 less than what it normally was selling for. So that's why I was like, I need to get that. And this bag, this particular like the Prada, like shoulder strap nylon bags were super popular this year. So I felt like I had to have one, especially because it was on sale. Like you can't beat this bag. I take the straps off of this bag. It's still very, very wearable. Let me just take the strap so you can, and I could literally wear it just like this as a mini bucket bag, which I do on occasion. I have it stuffed right now to keep the shape, but you can fit a lot of things in here. Phone, wallet, keys, like everything. This was definitely a good pickup to start off the year. Then after that, I went ahead and picked up some Telfar bags. I picked up two of these actually this year. The first one that I got actually was the blue cobalt mini and i feel like i've already done a video on this on my channel so you guys have probably seen this already this bag is 162 dollars and 94 cents i believe which is a really decent price but honestly for that price you might as well get the medium size <laughs> but i do love the color this is just what it looks like super duper cute very small bag you can't fit too much in it and i don't really like the closure on it because it doesn't really stay closed especially when you put a lot of stuff in it but it's super super cute a very nice statement bag you could throw this on with like any basic outfit and it just turns it up a notch i feel like the mini ones hold their shape a lot better than the bigger ones i would never get a large telfizi because i just feel like the large ones just look kind of sloppy then i got a medium telfizi i got the medium black which is what this looks like I love the medium size. It's like the perfect work bag. You can fit your computer in here, whatever books you need. It does look really nice. I've worn this so many times. I take it on job interviews. Like it's definitely a really cute bag and you could wear it more casual obviously as well. But I do love this one. Definitely a classic bag that I needed in my collection. Just a regular black tote. You can't go wrong. So this bag is $219.42. Really not a bad price, you know. I love to support a black business, so I really didn't care how much it cost, but that's a really, really affordable bag price. Especially so the next bag that I picked up is my first YSL. Like this is probably, not probably, this is, hmm. I was trying to think, I think this is my most expensive bag because the only other bag that like comes close is my Speedy 30 Bandoulier, the Speedy with the strap. I have that bag and that bag I think was 1700 or 1500 I can't recall, but this one was more than that. So. Let me show y'all. It is literally the perfect 
purse. This is what it looks like. I'll have all the information for all of the bags down below. It is the perfect nude color bag. I feel like it goes with literally anything. You could dress it up. You could dress it down. I wore the crap out of this bag. I literally wore it with everything. And it has the strap that you can wear, you know, doubled and wear it over your shoulder, wear it in the crook of your arm, or you can shorten it a little bit, wear it like this, and you can wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can elongate it completely and wear it crossbody. Like, I love this purse. I got this bag from Farfetch, and I got it during, like, the healthcare worker 15% off sale, which I'm pretty sure was going on. I think it was 15%. This bag was $1,949.95 before taxes. I can't remember what it was after taxes, but this baby ran me a pretty, pretty penny, okay? This bag is more than, like, a couple of these bags combined that I've already got. But, yeah, this bag was definitely worth it. I have literally already got my money's worth. I've worn it so much, like, to the point where honestly there's probably like tequila stains on here from margaritas like from going out and stuff like this bag love 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 like just look at it it literally is the perfect perfect purse then i took a little break from buying bags you know that bag was a little expensive so i did take a little bit of a break and then i was on farfetch and i was kind of just browsing around and i was just looking for like something to add to my fall wardrobe so i got this back at the end of the summer and it is from the brand sandro paris this is what the dust bag looks like just says sandro and then paris on the back and this bag was $256 and I posted a reel and I wore this bag with one of my outfits and people kept asking me like where's that bag from? This is where it's from. So this is what the bag looks like. It's from Sandro Paris. Super duper cute tote. It is the perfect size. This is like your perfect I'm going to Tulum with my homegirls bag. Then the next bag that I purchased you guys have seen already I've already done a video on the coach pillow tabby That's what she looks like. She is one of my faves I have also been wearing this bag like crazy. This is the coach pillow tabby 26 and I paid $537.69 for this bag. I got it from the coach website directly has a super cute strap I have already talked in length about this bag So if you want to see a review definitely check out my video on my channel. I have it linked below or in the cards i'll have it somewhere so you guys can click on it and find it but yeah love 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 this bag um love her okay so the very last item are these burberry sunglasses i literally just got these i posted a reel i believe on my instagram that should be up already of me unboxing these but i'll include that in this video as well so you guys can see this comes in the box it has the burberry authenticity card the soft sunglass holder you have the bigger sunglass case here. Very, very nice and structured. I like the color of this, like, nude, which is very much my vibe. And this is what they look like. They are super duper cute. They have the B on the side. And when I first saw these sunglasses, I saw someone on Instagram wearing these. And I thought that they were Balenciaga, so I didn't even... I didn't even try. I was like, I'm not even gonna look up these sunglasses. I know I can't afford them because it's, it's fucking Balenciaga. But... I ended up stumbling across them and I found out that they were Burberry and I was like wait a minute I can afford these <laughs> you can get these at sunglass hut as well for a discounted price they have black they have the tortoise color they have these they have lilac comes in a bunch of colors but I really really love these Burberry I think it's motif sunglasses these are gonna be perfect for when I go on vacation perfect for the springtime I honestly knowing me and how much I love pink I'm gonna find a way to get away with wearing these in the winter as well because it's just giving I like the low profile of it like the sunglasses don't sit up here they sit down here and kind of just give your face a nice shape they're nice and big too they're not super small so they make my head look a little bit smaller because I got a big head I'm definitely thinking about getting the black as well because these are just really really cute like you cannot deny these like the little B come on now that was the last thing in my 2021 luxury haul I have spent so much money this year and next year we are going to stack, we are going to save, I'm trying to buy a house, okay? So, I can't play around. I need to, you know, meet my savings goals and do what I gotta do and stop buying so much junk.
okay but i do love a good luxury item so if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give me a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite purchase was in the comments down below but give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss an upload and i will see all of you beautiful people in my next video bye